Last week we spoke about making use of an estate agent, but what if you'd like to go the route of selling or renting property yourself? Here to help us weigh up all the options is Simon Bray, the CEO of Private Property. Simon, so good to see you once again. You too. You I'm too. so happy that we're talking about this because I would like to know, selling property yourself versus using an estate agent, what is the difference? Well, you know, we've got a unique history as a property website. We started off just listing, uh, you know, private sales, guys that wanted to, to do the whole process themselves. Uh, so we've got a long history working with uh, people uh, with that do-it-yourself mentality and I want to control the whole process. Uh, but we've learned over a period of time that that is only really 5% of the homeowner market in the country. Uh, even today, after all these years, only 5% of the listings on private property are in fact for sale by the homeowner themselves. Uh, and I think the reason for that is it's a far more difficult process than people think uh, when they start. Uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of things that are taken for granted in the role of the estate agent. And so what we've seen over time is that private properties come to represent the entire residential property market, not just, you know, private sellers. I once heard the statement, marketing is easy, but selling is hard. Do you agree <laughs> with that? <laughs> no, absolutely, absolutely. You know, Platforms like ours really do make the marketing part quite easy. You know, if you list uh, your property on our website, you're going to tap into millions of interested buyers straight away. So marketing your listing and advice around what pictures to take, floor plans, virtual tours, how to uh, feature your listing in front of the right audience, all of that is easy to come by. But what is difficult are those those parts of the process no one enjoys. Yeah. You know, negotiating mm -hmm. uh, on this home that you've lived in for 15 years that you absolutely love uh, when the guy lowballs you. I mean, how do you react to that? Yeah, a lot yeah. of people are just not equipped for those kinds of discussions. Yeah. And people don't want to open their homes on a mm -hmm. Sunday and sit there for three hours and have no one come. And, yeah. you know, all of these tough parts of the process that no one really considers when they list their property. So, yeah, I'd, I'd agree. Marketing, easy. Yeah. Actually closing the sale is the hard part. Definitely the hard part. Okay, so let's get into the meaty stuff. What are the pros and cons of selling your property <laughs> yourself? Yeah, you're putting me on the spot here. <laughs> you know, if you want to do it yourself, the obvious benefits, uh, the one that people often think of is this idea of cost. Um, so you, you're going to save on agent commission potentially. Okay. Uh, the problem is a lot of do-it-yourself listers of property don't really know what to price the property at and that's another key value that agents can bring. Uh, so sometimes they get that pricing wrong and maybe the cost benefit isn't as real but certainly you could save money if you're savvy and know what you're doing. Uh, you do, you'd certainly control the process a lot yeah. more. You know, it's your home, you can let people in whenever you like, whenever you, you know, you're there. Uh, and then there's the knowledge about the home. So you know a lot more about the property yeah. and its history than anyone else would. Uh, so those are the pros. The cons, yeah. I mean, I've mentioned some of them already, but uh, you've got to have the temperament to, to haggle. You've yes. got to have the temperament to negotiate because uh, people are out there looking for a deal. I you know. know. Just <laughs> like you are. Um, and you, you've got to realise that it's a time-intensive mm. thing. You know, the average time on market in South Africa is between six and eight months for a property. Wow. So you can't expect it to just happen overnight. And I think people do lose patience with, with the property sales process when they're doing it themselves. Simon, have you ever come across a scenario where a client is trying to sell a property on their own, but then they get inundated with calls from agents who are trying to get them to give them the property to market? Yeah, absolutely. And, and sometimes people get irritated about that, but I see it quite differently. You know, what are you ultimately trying to do? You're ultimately trying to sell your home. So you should be open to any type of deal, no matter where that deal comes from. So my advice to people selling their homes themselves is to be open to agent deals. Mm -hmm. So if an agent calls you up and says, listen, I've got a buyer, I'd love to bring them through the home then make the home available and see if there's a deal to be done there. Uh, it's actually a great way to interact with agents. A large number of our uh, sellers on private property that are doing it themselves end up selling through an agent. Before we go, we have to have Simon Bray's tip of the day. Well, I mean, this tip is easy. Selling yourself is perfectly possible, yeah. but realize that you need to have the time and the temperament to do it. It's not just plain sailing. Hashtag enough said. Thank you so much, Simon. Well, ultimately, it comes down to a personal choice, the one that works best for you, your needs, and, of course, your life. Browse www.privateproperty.co.za if you would like to see what private property has to offer.